Hey, Infected Knight here, and I'm logging into the server for the first time after the up Ashlands update. Uh, so, <clears throat> I said I was going to quote unquote future proof it, although to be honest, I didn't really do that. So, we'll see what happens to the house when I spawn in. And, um, something's gone very wrong. Um, well, I don't want to die, so give me a second, okay, uh, back to night back, round two, I, uh, not sure how I corrupted my world file, but let's log in again for the first time with the new word world modifier, allowing, um, things to catch fire. And see what happens to the base. Okay. Uh, so far. So good. Nothing's catching fire yet. Um. Huh. I'll be honest, I expect some of these things to catch fire. Let me see if I did this correctly. Um, okay. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Stuff's, stuff's catching on fire. Oh god, is my old base going to get destroyed? What's happening? Wait a second. Um, okay, it looks like some... Some stuff is catching, but... It's infrequent, I guess? Oh god! Oh, oh no! Um... Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, so it spreads. It spreads. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay. 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 So, I have to figure out how to not make it spread like that. It's not consistent either, which is really frustrating because it, it'd be one thing if it was consistent. Because then I could be like, oh, okay, so if it's within whatever, whatever. But it also spreads, too. That's that's pretty awesome. Okay. Um, I'm going to collect all this stuff. And I'm going to see if I can figure out some sort of, I guess, radius or distance that this is affected by. I, I legitimately don't know how I can do it. So far, nothing in the center has caught fire. Which is, I thought these would catch fire. Maybe they don't. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and investigate, do a little bit of testing. Okay, uh, update. I tested it, and this will burn down an oak tree, which is interesting. I'm gonna push this oak tree close to the uh, other campfire I have over here. So something else that I found really interesting is that, don't oh, stop, don't do it, is that it burned all the fire around here. Like I didn't use the hoe here to clear out this land. I, I did over here and you can see it's a different color. And now I'm seeing if it'll spread to the, oh, it did. It spread to the wood. Oh my God, that's so cool. Oh, will it break it down? Is this a, is this a new cheesy way to get uh, rich? Um, 
Uh, fine wood, fine wood. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <sighs> damn it. Okay, keep burning, keep burning. I trust you. It did. Oh, it left scorch marks on the ground. That is. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Um. I'm gonna. Can I relight this? I can relight it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna push this over to this one. Okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Too far, too far, too far, too far, too far, too far, too far. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Set myself on fire. Set myself on fire. Didn't you know, I mean, that was always a possibility, but. So it's spread to that grass. Okay. It doesn't seem to want to set this oak log on fire anymore. So it seems to flicker with some orange firelight. It's right on it. Huh. Keep an eye on this for a little bit longer. What's my sundial say? What time is? Don't you dare light that on fire while I'm over here. It is getting late. What happens if I leave it overnight? Can I even sleep in here right now? I feel like I, I hope I can. Ah, darn it. Okay. Okay. Heavy builds. Weird. Okay, well, at least the center fire hasn't burned down my base yet. So I'm pretty sure it won't, which might be a risky guess. I just wake up and there's no base left. Everything's burned to the ground. I was joking. Sort of. Okay, so it doesn't seem to want to burn the logs after they've broken, so it won't break it down into its constituent pieces. I'm pretty sure I just broke the thing. Oh, it suffocated it, that's why it got weird. Okay. Gonna do some more. Yeah, you know what? This is up. So, right here. So, how far away right, can it go? We start it here, put it in there. Will it spread to this? Okay, and then for this one, if we start it here, go there, we'll spread to that. that there's not enough surface area to actually get this. And, uh, first I'm going to move this away because I no longer really need that. Don't you dare break my fence. Uh, my base partners are probably going to be annoyed that I destroyed the oak tree. That was kind of aesthetic, but whatever. Okay, so if we go here, go here. Alright, and it's definitely going to light that first one on fire. Go here. Here, here, where is that? Here, here. It took it a while inside. This is practically in it. A normal amount of smoke coming out of the building.
Get out of here. Testing things. So, this was burning for a little while. You can see this fire spread over here. Burn some other pieces and turn it into coal. It seems unreliable. Like, where it's gonna burn at. Because it caught fire over here and then jumped over there. This is a full plank away. I don't know if. Ones in the, these ones in the middle are full planks? Is it more than full planks? How are these not being set on fire? Hmm. More testing is required. Okay. So. If we make it one full one out. That's not how that works at all. That was bad. Okay. We space it like that. Boom. Boom. Okay. Well, it's just, it's not gonna happen the way I want it to, but that's fine. I will just adjust the location of the fire. Set anything on fire. While it's doing that, I gotta repair my gear. I will say, I didn't bother to check torches. Do torches do the same thing? Do I have to worry about the torches burning stuff down? Doesn't look like I have to worry about torches burning stuff down. It looks like every once in a while it does an orange puff. And if the orange puff is close enough to something, it will set it on fire. Yeah, right there, right there. It's an ember that jumps out. Okay. So every time an ember jumps out, there's a chance that it will light something on fire. But it looks like it has to be pretty. There, yeah, I just got a perfect view of it. Okay. So it looks like it does the e the ember doesn't jump out a full block. It just jumps out a little bit. So I'm going to start adjusting the stuff on the inside to reflect that. And I'm going to come back out a little bit later and see if it's still lighting stuff on fire outside. Okay, so coming back outside to check. It looks like it hasn't set anything else on fire. Kind of built a similar setup on the inside of the house now. So let's go check, check it out. Okay, so... For example, one of the fire pits on the inside of the house. So if I put this right here, right? Now it's gonna, the fire's gonna jump out. The fire's gonna jump, and it shouldn't have anywhere to go. Okay, cool. Now, just need to take this design and... Oh, that's going to be hard. But, I just need to take that design and apply it everywhere else in the base. So, A, infected night back. And it looks like I've fireproofed everything. Um, at least I hope I did. Looks like the embers won't jump to this ring here so it gives you a nice distance to be away and the center not only is far enough from the ring but I've also noticed a couple times when the embers jump from the center fire they seem to just hit the the um, cookie stand what are they called as soon as I wake up I'll be able to look it up hmm 
Cooking station, yeah. So they seem to hit the cooking station and just bounce off. Let's see if we can watch it happen. Yeah, it seemed to just... Well, that wasn't a good example. Yeah, see, that one just stayed on the rocks. I'm, I'm almost wondering if the cooking station prevents it from moving any further. But yeah, um, as you might notice, I moved... Some of the flooring got a little messed up as I had to expand the ring. I also moved the uh, dirt out a little bit here. Originally, it was sunk down in. You can still see a little bit there where it's sunk down in. This way, it just makes it a little bit more flat. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I didn't think I'd uh, start this episode having to redo those fire pits, but it kind of makes sense with this, with the new update. I think what I'm going to do today is I want to unlock the Bronze Age. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean I want to, you know, beat Ike there. I want to see if I can do what I used to do, where I would go in and... This, this, is, this looks cool. I'm excited about this. But, sorry. I want to do what I'd done in the past and essentially get trolls to help me mine for materials. So we're going to see if I can get that and I'll meet you up later. So here we are in a black forest. We got some tin right there. Let's see if there's a troll nearby that can uh, help us acquire that tin. I don't have a lot of carry weight. Find this oops, blueberries. Okay, so that's not Oh, copper vein right here. That's perfect. Well, it looks like we got some friends coming up. Yeah. Down here, one star gray dwarf. Cool, one star gray dwarf. Uh, removed from the field of battle. So one of the other things I'm going to do quick is I'm going to lay down a workbench. And the reason I'm going to put down a workbench is because anything that, any item that's down within range of workbench, at least this is the way it used to work, um, will not despawn. So if we do that, hopefully that means we make sure that everything will be fine. Control. Hmm. Where is a troll? Oh, there's one. There's one, there's one, there's one. That's good attention. Cool. Oh! Wow! I'm gonna pepper some shots into him a little bit. Okay, cool. And get some more stamina in me. Put away the bow so I can move faster. I have to be very careful because this is a wood guy. If he hits me, I'm in trouble. Okay. I gotta, I gotta stop that. Okay, cool. Not good. Okay, not great.
Okay, I'm in trouble. Okay, so if I can get him. Okay, cool, it's working. Yep, there it is, the first death. That was... <sighs> I made a complete mistake there. I decided that I was going to keep fighting the Grey Dwarf instead of paying attention to the troll behind me. Yeah. The, the rock-throwing trolls are better to do that with. That was a good run. I built this whole base without dying once. You know, to die against a troll like that is, you know, pretty expected. Okay. So it's early in the morning. The troll was over here last time I saw him. Oh, that gray door is going to be a problem. I was hoping to sneak and grab my stuff, but that's apparently not going to be an option now. Now, fortunately, the troll was up on the rock when he hit me. So I actually died in a good spot, all things considered. Cool. are literally a cancer in this game. Oh yeah, cool. Get the coupon. Wait, 400? Oh, that's right. Corpse Run gives you more carry weight. I need to be careful because if I pick up too much stuff with Corpse Run. Okay. The thing is, is I need him down there to give me some tin. And I also just want to kill him now. Oh cool, that's what I wanted, to hit that tree. So you gave me quite a bit of copper, which is great. Okay, cool. Oh shit. Okay, need to stop doing that. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah you guys are getting on my nerves. I'm gonna kill both of you, but and not right now. 
Okay. Oh, shoot. That was not good. Definitely can't do that again. Fuck, I'm full on materials right now. And that was another piece of tin. Cool. Okay. Let's see if I can get one more piece of tin, although it might be greedy. Oh shit, that was bad. That was so dumb. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was two more pieces of tin. That was twice as much as I wanted, so you die. Hey everybody, welcome back. I've got my smelting system set up. I'm just sleeping through the night real quick. I threw 10 ingots in, threw 40 something wood into two kilns. So let's wake up and see what it looks like. It's a very simple smelting system. I do have a way to, I wouldn't say automate it because you don't really have much in the way of automation in this game. Uh, at least vanilla, but there is some things you can do to make it quicker. Okay, that there. Gotta craft bronze now, and it's oh no! I think I just I think I just have not enough. Let me guess. Uh, bronze pickaxe is five. Ten! Okay. At least I wasn't close. Found another troll. This is my kind of troll. That was dumb. 
Time to make the embarrassing run back. But there's a lot of stuff there. And he's going to retreat back to his troll lair, so I'm just going to let him go. Because he was actually really far away. Shit. I'll be honest, I didn't really expect him to slowly around. Take all. Cool. That's why I don't like the corpse run very much. Okay, so I've let the metal smelt overnight. And now we go out. I don't have any processes. I only needed 12, so let's go ahead and put five back. And then I should only need six of these. Ugh, gross. Go ahead and smelt it up quick. Just like that, I am now in the Bronze Age. Nice. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I am in the Bronze Age now. I can start crafting stuff to my heart's content. I have a bunch of materials just sitting out in the woods. I'm probably going to come back and make a cultivator, start farming, get carrots, start getting my boars, uh, start farming up trees, making a tree farm. I'm going to see if I can utilize these fire mechanics for the tree farm. But anyways, uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Sorry I died twice. We'll see if I can get better at this game. I've only been playing since it was released. Uh, <laughs> anyways, thank you for watching. I've been Infected Knight. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!